Hey Jeff, uh, this is Todd. Um, I'll just assume that we're doing a simple purchase here. Let me show you um, uh, what we did. It might be throwing you off a tiny bit. Uh, let's just say this client's buying contract price of 500000 and you're going to do 20% down. And let's say this one's going to be just 50% down, right? Um, and uh, we'll say that everything else is going to be the uh, same. I'll, I'll make this a 30-year fixed um, with 20% down and no uh, secondary financing. So we got a first position of 400000 at uh, 4%. And I'll just copy that down. And then I'm going to make this an LTV of 50%. So basically, we got a $250 and a $400,000 loan amount. I think this is what you're, uh, you're looking to do here. Now, um, you've got cash need to close $100,000 or $250. So let's just say that uh, you would need at least $250 available to do uh, you know, these on a comparison basis. So you put in $250 and $250. That's what you have available. So in this scenario, you still have 150 cash left at closing. In this scenario, you have nothing left at closing. You got a payment difference here of 716 a month, and then you can do your future wealth comparison. And you're gonna hear from me again and again. I really recommend you use the uh, fixed uh, here. It's gonna be the uh, most accurate for you, uh, and it's gonna automatically handle all of your cash flow. But what we decided to do, because people were getting confused, we were managing the cash flow, we were also managing the cash at closing. And you'll notice down here it says cash to close 100,000, cash to close 250. So if I go to, to, to uh, zero years, which is basically closing, you can see this is a wash, right? There's uh, equity of 100,000, there's equity of 250, there's cash to close of 100 and 100, and, you know, so it's, it's just, it's all washed out. People didn't realize or didn't understand that we were automatically putting uh, that cash into uh, savings for them, right? So now what you would do, the only, the only extra step you have to do is if you want to have that go into savings and, and you'll watch this will balance out, I just come over here and I say I want to add a new payment, a one-time payment of 150000 because this is what you would have to do. And I want to make this $150,000, not a million five, $150,000 payment at closing, all right, and click save, and it's going to put that now into a savings account. So notice this is still a wash, right? You still you have um, made a payment of 150. You've got a house of 500. You've got a mortgage of 400,000. You've got 150 in your checking account or savings account where you put this, and you've got equity now is net 250, and your cash to close is 100 or 250. So everything works out. Now, if you say uh, grow this at five percent over seven years or whatever you'll notice now that you're getting that uh, savings balance is growing. So this has grown to 212,705 over seven years. And over here, your 716 a month has been going into the savings account and growing at 5%. So you can actually start to see what, that this 20% down growing at 5% is gonna save that client 11,769. If, if they could get a 6% return uh, over that same time period, uh, save them 24000 over the same period of time. They're better off with the 20% down. But, hey, if you can only get, uh, you know, 1.5% uh, you know, in a money market account, this is going to be much better for you. You're better off putting the larger down payment down. You're better off by 24000 So you can start to see how this cash account balance really starts to make a difference there. So everything's the same. Use fixed, but now you can see that what we're doing is allowing you to make that decision. The numbers are right either way. But if you leave it as uh, just cash out of pocket there, it's not going to flow into the savings account and get credited at the interest rate. Uh, but people just didn't understand that we were doing that form automatically. They didn't know where that money was coming from. So we decided that we would let them do that manually however they wanted to put it in there. You could actually go in and put in you know, 50,000 year one, 50,000 year two, 50,000 year three. That gives you a lot more flexibility. So I hope that helps and uh, wish you the best. Have a fantastic day.